Well, City of Taft is working to save dogs and cats. The goal is to turn their animal shelter into a no-kill shelter. They sure are, Andy, but they need the community's support. Action 10's Myra Cordova has the details for you. Animal Control tells us about four to 500 animals found themselves at this facility every year. Sadly, 99% were euthanized to make room for more animals. But now they have a plan to change that. Come here, Bubba. The city hired Kayla Denny to lead the program. She's great at networking. She's well connected. I helped start the spay and neuter clinic for Pat. But taking over as the only animal control officer has been challenging. I would go home and almost get tears in my eyes with the sense of frustration and how am I going to save these animals on my own because I can't. The shelter was poorly managed. It was a mess. Things are rusted out. Lacking everything from fences, kennels, even paperwork. My first week I spent making adoption applications, adoption contracts. And basics like blankets and dog beds. So she made a wish list, which her friend posted on Facebook. It went viral. In just one week. I had over 500 boxes of things delivered between paper towels to dog bowls. Donations have poured in. A little over $10,000 with the Petco Foundation matching that $5,000. Denny says companies have donated equipment as well as employees to finish the second part of the shelter with electrical work and plumbing. But they still need manpower. The other side of the kennels need to be finished. Dog runs need to be built. And that can even be high school kids, um, anybody. We need our buildings painted. And long-term volunteers to help foster, drive animals to rescues, and help with paperwork. In a short amount of time, they're already making progress. We haven't had a euthanized one. We've sent over 35 animals out since um, November 13th. The reality of making this no kill will become reality one day here. Mayra Cordova, Action 10 News. Very good. Well, the city of Taft will allocate funds to maintain the shelter. And if you're interested in helping,